This game Colasso. Brandon Fleming Entertainment. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, it's one of them chill days, them temperatures. I told y'all about that on the last video. Y'all gotta go check out the last vlog I did. Yeah, it's coming down consistently. I saw um, little specks of it early this morning, like seven something this morning, like a flake here, a flake there. You had to been paying attention, um, you know, a train now, I know. But um, anyway, make sure y'all go check out the links in the description and my wife page in the description and my sister-in-law page in the description. You gotta check they, they content out too. I'm sure the ladies uh, and the fellas probably enjoy that. But yeah, man, like I said, let me grab this vapor, man. Like I said, it's been one of them chill days. Um, unfortunate where I'm from. My son, he he revving up his little his little Hellcat toy. <laughs> I was trying to get him on camera, but he kept on kicking my phone. So, oh well, we ain't gonna worry about that. You know, kids gonna be kids. But yeah, man, this weather been below freezing for the last I say twelve to sixteen hours, maybe just estimating. I may be right, maybe wrong, but um, it's been a minute. So the ground is already ready for it. So it's not going anywhere. Whatever file down, sticking on the floor. Um, I don't know what weather service you listen to or what area you in, state or country, but I'm sure you've been getting warnings on, hey, you know, on the look. Um, I normally, we old school, you know, everybody say, you know, make sure you keep your faucets like slightly running so they don't they don't freeze up on you because it's those type of temperatures i was actually looking at um buffalo yeah buffalo had a game <clears throat> they had an nfl game that they had to get canceled due to the weather conditions yes you know and that's kind of rare because i know when it snows i mean they normally don't stop it it has been some real hazardous um Probably potential, you know, of, of fans getting harmed, didn't want nobody to trip, slip, fall, uh, car crashes, um, you name it. But my dad had put me up on game about that the other day, and my brother-in-law was talking about it. So, yeah, it's kind of an unfortunate situation. I know we got a bunch of NFL fans, people love watching football and stuff, and they had to move the game up until Monday. So you know what type of situation it was. Besides that, um, I noticed I had went out earlier. I grabbed a, um, a few other things. We pretty much are already straight into this stuff, uh, fans over us. But um, yeah, I went in, man, I'm to my everybody trying to go out at the same time, hitting these stores. Uh, I was looking at um, a few of my neighbors last minute. They was trying to get out in it. I've already seen multiple cars. Um, we, we got like when you where we live at Memphis Mississippi wherever in the in the um, region the area is a bunch of hills peaks and valleys so you know going up the hills with it being slick it, slick excuse me slick as it is outside when this stuff falls down this just in my area you know you're gonna you're gonna spin around you gotta you gotta steep enough hill you're gonna go backwards the more gas you put on your car your your, your, your back end gonna feel still you're gonna go backwards you're gonna spin the car around you're gonna damage other vehicles that's why if you can like i said in my last one look, look stay at home man just stay at the house there's no need to go out here and um try to be superman or superwoman if you can because i mean it, you just run a risk. It's not just you driving and trying to be safe. It's you trying to watch the other drivers out on the expressway, the way they drive. You know, it's, it's crazy. You know, everybody wants to go out at the same time. It's like if it's storming outside, it's raining, everybody want to go to the store at the exact same time. Almost like, like everybody's in sync. Like, oh, let me go to the store. It's like, Hundreds of other people decide that at the same time. 
I mean, but it's too dangerous to to be crowded out here in public like that. It's too dangerous, especially like elderly people. You know, I I, I think about them as well. Um, trying to get out their cars, you know, a lot of them have walkers or, you know, they may have a little limp, maybe slightly handicapped, they fall, you know, that's it. You know, it's, it, the older you are, the longer it takes for you to heal up, man, you know. But, yeah, I just was, I was thinking about it. I said, man, it's, it's been one of them days. It's been low-key, kind of quiet. Um, I've seen a few cars from my neighborhood come and go, but it just seemed as though if you don't really have to go out, don't go out. Um, they've been broadcasting this for days, you know, hey, we got a storm coming, we got a storm coming. Uh, some people took heed to it, some people didn't, you know. Um, you just don't want to risk driving, messing your car up, um, running into somebody else. Uh, people, they, they don't care if it's ice on the ground, snow on the ground, doesn't make them no difference. They're going to drive the same speed. They don't know how to slow down. You mess around bumping to somebody. Um, you're risking people's lives. I mean, you got lakes. You know, you got rivers and stuff. People cross bridges. Somebody tap you the right way. Your, your, your car going over the bridge. I mean, who's going to jump in the water and save you? They got a negative two wind chill um, where I'm at, you know, uh, Excuse me. Yeah, you got a negative two wind chill where I'm at. It, it is not playing out of here. You know, the wind about 10, 11 miles per hour. And like where we from in the south, that hawk, boy, that hawk is biting. It will find your skin some type of way. I don't care how covered up you are. That wind blows saying like it finds a way to get in your clothes and have you cold as you know what. So, yeah, I mean... It's one of them days, you just, it's a chill day, it's a movie night, you know. Sports on, if you football on, basketball on, man, go chill out. Good movie, I know the ladies like watching the Lifetime movies on the Sundays, you know, get your popcorn together, your glass of wine or whatever it is that you like doing. You know, sit back and relax, I mean, because from what I'm seeing, it's not really going to be cleared up until like, Thursday, they all read the council to schools and, and no kids going to school. Ain't nobody going to school. That ain't happening. I know the uh, utility company where um, I live at in, in Memphis, you know, they started trying to cut down on certain trees by power lines to try to prevent power outages. And that's another thing in my, in my hometown, Memphis, they known for power outages. And like, I go back to what I was saying about the elderly people being now, uh, some of them sickly, some of them can't get up and go to the doctor. You know, some happen, they trip, they fall, hurt themselves. You know, it's, it's a, it's, I, I, I think of everybody as a whole, not just myself, because you don't want nothing, you don't want harm to be caused to anybody, you know, whether it's weather conditions or, or somebody else. I don't want nobody to get hurt for no apparent reason. Um, a lot of people nowadays, they, they don't have the gas stoves no more. They got the electrical stoves now. So, you know, their power get cut, Wi-Fi out, man. Make sure you can charge your phones up. You got plenty of blankets. Make sure them kids stay warm, man. Make them kids keep them socks on. You know, them little babies love pulling them socks off and throwing them somewhere. Then they want to take, <laughs> they want to take off and run, you know. You know how they do. But, yeah, it's been, it's been a been a pretty quiet day uh my wife she you know she she taking her shower her bath you know and actually i think she got a video she finna get ready to chop and edit up and that'll be up should should be before the night over with um we probably gonna watch a few movies or two chill out relax and you know just just call it a day um I let my dad a little earlier uh, make sure he had everything he he wanted. This man that took a, a Sonic, he done took a Sonic burger and added his own meat to it. I'm like, what kind of what kind of monstrosity are you trying to make? You know, 
just sitting chilling, you know, they, they try stuff like that, man. I'm talking about my daddy, if, if it was back in the day, like he'd be a carnivore. <laughs> For sure, he would be a carnivore. I ain't gonna even lie to you like that. But everything else been pretty smooth. I made sure my mother-in-law, you know, they went out yesterday, got some water. Uh, got some oh, items, um, made sure my niece and nephew straight, they got a little candy, little snacks, um, actually be a good time for people to go get some rest, chill out, relax, and man, just, just wind down, cause ain't nothing shaking, this stuff is coming down, actually I was, um, I was looking outside a, a minute ago, and it's just increasing, and due to, you know, due to it being so cold, it's not going nowhere. It's just stacking on top of each other. You know, it, it got a, a consistent flow of um, snow coming down. And the reason I keep saying snow, because that's what the weather channel say. But where I'm at, cold as it is, it's just dropping ice. It looks like snow is dropping ice. So... People going to get on those expressways. They're going to think they're going to be able to make it and be stuck. Could you imagine being stuck 17, 15 degrees weather, feeling like it's about 7 to 6 degrees outside? I mean, you only got so much gas you're going to have in your car. You can run your car. Yeah, that's true enough, okay? You may be stuck two, three, four hours, though. Excuse me. <sighs> Before, you know, anybody can get to you, you know? That's something to take into consideration. Um, whoever told you a guy, woman, you know, that's going to take them a while to get to you, especially if you're stuck on the expressway. I mean, I haven't checked. I'm probably a little later. I want to double up on the vlogs. I'm going to go back, check the news, uh, see if anybody had any accidents today, any wrecks, um, anything like that. Um, I'm trying to think. Probably, yeah, I'm probably going to check the news. I, maybe, um, I think we got 9 o'clock news, 10 o'clock news. I'm sure they got a bunch of alerts going across the screens on TV. I'm really just chilling, uh, playing the game, uh, spending a little time with my son, watching my other little baby. That's pretty much it for the moment, but yeah. Just a little quick vlog, man. Just had to put it up. But like I said at the beginning, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, everybody be blessed, be safe. Make sure you stay warm. And I'm out. Peace.